Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at another Disney's Dorables Adorbs. Uh, this one, I think by the symbol right here, is going to be the Alice in Wonderland theme one. I don't know her name yet. So far, we've gotten Sadie. And we've gotten uh, Luna. But um, I have to say that I've only been able to find them at two locations. Uh, one Target and the Walmart that's the Target that's near my work, and then the Walmart that's near my house. Uh, the other Walmarts that I've been to either have the, I don't know if they're just late getting them, or you know if I was late getting to them myself, or they just aren't gonna have them. I'm a little worried. I don't want to spread misinformation because I don't know, but um, when I had my when I bought my first one and then I had the issue with the eyes and them telling me that they couldn't get the parts to me until uh for you know four to eight weeks that worries me that there's gonna be uh there's not gonna be a lot of these to go around at least at the beginning so I don't know we'll see uh so we've gotten this part opened up and uh as per the other videos we are going to follow the rules because it it's what makes it fun uh, so we should be looking at Al the Alice in Wonderland one here. So for one, we're just going to open up this panel here. We got our first blind bag. It's a big one. It's going to tell us what we got. So per the other ones, the bags are pretty much the same. The blind bags pretty much have the same graphic work and everything on them. They're cute. They're cute bags. I love how they're in shopping bag, uh, ways, but there we go. All right. So I think... We're going to also have, where is it in here? So here's our lanyard. It's a kind of a, um, like a mauve color. And then the sticker on it, I think it's a sticker. It does say Dorables and it's done in yellow in that mauve color as well. We have a little baby pansy. I believe it's a pansy. They're pansies. Um, no, I don't, hmm, what kind of flower were they? Anyway, they were the little ones. They were the little maybe they were rosebuds. They were, they were they were the babies of the um you could learn a lot of things from the flowers uh situation. Um so I think that's done really well. I love this I love that it's sculpted and painted. It looks really good. Um and then we should have our our paper thing should be in here too. I don't want to lose it. There it is. Our VIP card. Okay. Um, so we move on to door number two. Let's get that on it. And then we have our other surprise in here with the Daisy Duck and the um, uh, Cruella fans, kinda, fangirls kind of looking on. I think this has my our adorable in it. Oh no, there are shoes. They're so cool. So they're painted with that holographic. I don't know if that's a paint or a, a finish or whatever it is, but it's 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 pearlescent. So these this is almost like a black blue, uh, Mary Jane styles shoe here, and it's got Alice's face. It looks like on both of them. How cute are they? Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. All right. So now we're gonna be going to door number three, which is right over here, which is gonna be our next blind bag. And there's that. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, okay, so there's Alice. Um, she is in a pose where she is painting the roses red. That is the uh, scene for this one. So it doesn't really go with the uh, with the keychain part, but there it is. Looks really good. I think that was all that was in there. I hope there wasn't anything more. No. All right, so door number four. You have to be careful because sometimes there are little accessories that you might miss with these. Uh, ooh, this is the big one. I think this might be the umbrella that we're expecting. Yeah, I have looked at some artwork and stuff, so I'm not super surprised, but I had to make sure that this was one that I wanted. Okay, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, 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 okay, it's done really well. Um, there's a little bit of a scuff mark there, but not really bad. 
Oh, ooh, this is really awesome. So this is Alice's top of her head here. Goes to it. We got some uh, work on the side there with some hearts and some swirls. And the black bow on the top here. That acts the top. And then here's the um, umbrella handle. Black with blue on the bottom and blue on the top. Put that together. That's really, really good. That's so good. So let's go on to our... What's number five? Is the number five on the top? Number five is on the top. That's going to open our door up, show us our tech checklist. And we will now know that we have Anita, the Alice in Wonderland adorable fan. Oh, okay. So we have treasure, treasure cat bags. Oh, where's the bag going to be? Did I miss something somewhere? I don't think so. Did I miss a bag? I don't know. Anyway, and then there's a Queen of Hearts uh, type situation bag, purse bag back there. And this is actually adorable. I don't know if it's like the rarest one or maybe it's the first one. But the one of her falling down the rabbit hole and landing upside down. That's her. And then there's roses and hearts there. Look at the photo booth. It's so awesome. It's like she's sitting in the garden with all the red roses. And an upside down teapot. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open up our girl here. We are going to reveal Anita. Here she is. Oh, it looks like her. Yeah. Ooh, let's get her out of here. Let's get her out of here. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's the room continuing on. And same as usual back there, but that the backstage is pretty usual but that's awesome so we're gonna punch this out so we can have our own vip club card two things to mention this is my third adorbs doll and they've all come with this transparent teal stand so i'm thinking maybe they'll change the color for series two if series two happens or maybe i just got happen to have the three characters that have the teal stand but i'll do a research but i think that this is the just the color that they chose for all of them which is fine. The fact that it has a stand at $15 is good. Um, I also wanted you guys to see um, that um, <laughs> this doll has pretty crazy uh, box hair. So uh, I'm seeing bald spot with, spots with the, ball, uh, the bo box hair, but let's see if we can rearrange it and see what it does. So her hair is a super dark brown um, with a bunch of under highlights of pink that just kind of goes in the middle. It's really, really pretty. It's soft, curly, and shiny. Uh, it didn't take much for me to just fluff her hair up, and now it's where it should be. Um, I mean, the rooting is pretty good. I mean, there's a bald spot there, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not disappointed by it. Uh, so she has a dark complex sure i think one of the darkest ones so far of my girls i'll kind of maybe i'll give you a short of all the the skin tone comparisons but um so she has a nice dark brown eyebrow if you look really really close there's a lot of definition in the painting and the, um, the sculpting techniques with the eyebrows which is really cool small detail that didn't need to exist but it does so we appreciate that uh she has a shimmery purpley pink eyeshadow on there it's got sparkles embedded in it like just a little bit of shimmer sparkle she has uh, light brown eyes i don't see any imperfections in them they look really really good so i'm happy with that and then of course the lashes that are molded on the, sc the sculpt molded and painted on the sculpt uh head sculpt uh she has a um like a plum colored purpley lip with a little bit of liner on there and then her cheeks are like a yellowish pink color i do have a little bit of a scuff on mine i think it looks like but nothing that's i don't think it's is it showing up on camera a little bit i don't know it looks good she still looks pretty good 
Her dress is really cute. Um, I don't like the printed on details on the top here, but it's it's kind of what you're going to get for a doll of this size and of this uh, price range at this point in time. But they make up for it by giving us a little bit of different fabric here for the skirt. So our color scheme is white and, and uh, the Alice blue there. Uh, she does have a, an apron here that's a mesh color with, it looks like painted on or printed on hearts that match the uh, the, the ones on the shoes. And then there's a couple of um, stamp, um, molded on, not molded on, a couple, of, a couple of buttons here that are stamped on. And then I think that's supposed to look like a dress over this puffy sleeve uh, shirt. And then there's also another layer of um, like a tool lace on here. It's really pretty. So it's done really nice. And then, of course, her hair itself is done up in a Mary Jane style with a little bit of a bump here. And then she has this black and white uh, hair piece, which is really cute. Um, and then two elastics on the side here to hold a couple of swirlies. Um, let's see. So her socks, unfortunately, have been painted on. And they have painted on black bows on the, the white socks. You run, you're running into that a little bit in this line, but they had a budget that they had to make. So the, if, if the vision included socks but didn't include the price of having socks and it was cheaper to do it this way, they gave her socks. I, I, I can be okay with that. Um, for articulation, here's where it gets a little hairy. So her head does go back and forth. It doesn't go up and down. Um, the arms, uh, she, she has really nice sculpted on fingers here. Um, you can make them go up and then you can make them go, uh, out to the side and then you can make them sit. You can make them stand. So that kind of flings back. I don't know how that's held on. I don't know if it's elastic bands, but it's pretty tight. Um, yeah, you can make them sit, but they won't stay seated. And I can't, it, it show, she does have articulation in the knees and in the ankles. So you can twist the ankles. The ankles are turnable. And then these are supposed to be bendable, but I'm having a hard time bending them. So I would be careful. I don't, I don't, I don't want to force mine to snap it because I'm probably not going to be too much doing too much with the knees. It's almost like they put that there to say it's there, but it's not functional. It's weird. Um, but no, cause it was functional fine in Sadie's. It, I, I think it's just this particular girl. So the quality control for these particular dolls are kind of all over the place. But this girl, um, let me just get her dressed. I, I think I, I'm happy with her. I'm very happy with her. I definitely wanted to get a shot in of her holding her umbrella so I can show you that she can hold it. Uh, it's finicky. Well, it's finicky because I got frustrated because her shoes are a little floppy. That's just how they fit, and I'm fine with that. But the stands definitely weren't taken in consideration when they threw them in. They're poopy stands for this for this body. <laughs> I'll just say that um, when I finally when I finally got the umbrella balanced, the stand would fall off. And when I finally put the stand on, the umbrella would fall off. But I finally got them in harmony. It is possible for her to hold her her umbrella up. She's adorable. Um, I guess she fits her name. She's adorbs. And uh, yeah, that is uh, and. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.